What's up guys, this is Kurt, and today we're gonna to be producing a version of the song Heat Waves, but here's the challenge. We have to produce the whole track inside that Walmart. All the sounds that you hear, everything we're gonna record is gonna come from in there. Let's go. I legitimately do need socks. I don't know how I could use a sound for that in this video. Manly work gloves. This is not related to the video, but I'm gonna get some of those. The sound of like a can opening that can also be used for like a little fizz or pop. Okay, now the original song has this repeated riff that I'm gonna need to find something melodic to play. And this is weird, but I actually love the sound of the scanners, the little beep of the scanners. I think I could use that. Just charge yourself three times. I think I just bought these three times. <laughs> but you got the sound? But I got the sound. It sounds good. <laughs> it was a perfect open sound. All right, not done yet. Let's go edit these sounds. Here we are in our Walmart music video, AKA the car section, because who comes to Walmart for the car section? Let's mess with those sounds. First, here's the scanner sound. We're gonna pitch that around a little bit. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. That's not bad. Now let's add a bunch of reverb to it. Let's throw in the can opening sound. Here's like the fizz and just like the beginning of a can open. Let's throw that into the beat. Honestly, I could see the intro just being that. Check out those random hanger noises that we got. I wanna cut those up and make it like a little. Yeah, exactly like that. Okay, honestly, that's sounding pretty good. Let's go grab some more sounds. This is the most comically large bike horn. <laughs> I have to use that. Daddy, what am I? Your bike horn. How'd she guess? You know, these doors, depending on how you hit them, they kind of have a little bit of a pitch to it. There was a worker looking at us suspiciously. Don't come over here. On a completely unrelated note, I'm gonna get some yogurt. I just showed up in the gym like this. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so good. Okay, let's throw that all together. All uh, right, back in our little studio. Here is the sound of me tapping on that glass door by the yogurt. There actually is a bit of a pitch to it. It's like somewhere around an F maybe. I'm just gonna pitch that around and use it as like a little like kick, bass, low thing. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, check out what that sounds like if we add a bunch of distortion to it. Okay, that's not bad. Now that belt sound, here's what the whip sounds like just by itself. I want to take that sound and like reverse the sound and put it in front of the sound. That made sense, right? Now with a bunch of reverb. It's sounding so good. I just want to add that like knocking the bottle sound. It was such a good bottle. We're gonna pitch that around. I wanna take that bottle noise, I wanna just get rid of the attack of it so I can make like a bottle synthesizer thing to fill out that chorus. It's sounding so good. Okay, I think it just needs a couple more things. Okay, this is a really weird idea, but that crying baby that we've been hearing, I kind of feel like it could sound good as, I don't know, a pitched out auto-tuned crying baby solo. Let's see if we can record it. Crying baby has been found. Okay, Patty, here's the plan. That baby back there, I'm gonna sneakily try to record but while shopping at that rat. Let's do it. That was perfect. Oh my God, the kid's aisle, always amazing.
Okay, this is pretty strange, but I think the track is gonna need this like kind of pulse, this energy that's added to it. And one crazy thing that I found that worked really well in my Ikea video was the sound of just like shopping carts. So we're gonna mess with that. Okay, let's go mess with that. Okay, this is gonna be like the peak of my musical career right here. We're using a baby in the track. Here's the crying baby. It sounds so good. I just want to see what it sounds like if I just throw some auto-tune on it. <laughs> the baby's so talented. <laughs> the baby's more talented than me. We did the quiet bridge section. I just want to like stretch out that baby crying and like put so much reverb on it. The high note kills me. The high note is the thing that kills me. <laughs> Wait, one final thing with the baby. I think this is the sound of it like breathing in really quickly. I'm gonna double that and put it on both sides. <laughs> Here's the cart sound, all those like noises when we were moving the cart around. Now let's just like make it pulse to add that energy to it. Yeah, I think the track's basically done, and Mike Tompkins, who's singing on this song, just texted me asking where we are in the store. Aisle I-39, I'm gonna guess. Dude, I'm fine. Dude, we're here! We're here! What are we doing here? Uh, we're... We're, we're recording. You we're know, recording like, here. Yeah, yeah we're in recording. The, <laughs> in the store, like here. I thought we were grabbing like a washer and dryer and then like heading back to your place. Or something. <laughs> you check out the track. Yeah. Check out the track. See, now we just need both of them. <laughs> <laughs> You're ready. All right. <laughs> okay, I think this is the vocal boot right in here. <laughs> That's what we're going to I think this is the best spot. Yeah. Super comfortable, Kurt. Nice. Heat waves been freaking me out. Can make you happy or now? Let's grab the harmony. Oh, got it. Wait, that's that one? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sometimes all I think about is you. Okay, the chorus sounds pretty good. Let's grab that, like, low part. And... Roll shimmer, wiggle in the vision, heat, heat, wear some. Nice, no, yeah. it sounds really good. Are you sure? Because we're in a Walmart, Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, listen what it sounds like after pitching it down. <laughs> this is so good. I it up. Dude, I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah, I'm kind of stuck. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's music video time. Wait, actually, before we go any further, it's time to thank the sponsor for today's video. Psh, Soundcore Liberty 3 Pro earbuds. The Liberty 3 Pro buds sound great. They have this nice bass boost, but the treble still sounds really like shiny and bright. And my favorite thing, they don't come out. Also, they're noise canceling. They do a great job of canceling out everything that's around you, even if it's a really loud crying baby in Walmart. Most noise canceling buds that sound this good cost like $300 or more, and these are nowhere even close to that. Also, I think they look pretty fly. I don't know, let me know what you think. They come in four different colors. Grab yourself a pair on Amazon, Soundcore's official website, or offline at your local Best Buy. So whether you wanna to listen to this stuff on like a train or in a cafe somewhere loud, or you wanna produce music with these things, they're great. And Soundcore Liberty Through Pro is endorsed by 20 Grammy winning audio producers. Producers. So guys, grab yourself a pair at the link down below and now through October 14th, you can get 20 bucks off. So go check them out. All right, now back to the video. some 
wish that I could give you that That look that's perfectly unsaid Sometimes all I think about is you Late nights in the middle of June He always been faking me out He always been faking me out Sometimes all I think about is you Late nights in the middle of June He always been faking me out Can't make you happier now Sometimes all I think about is you Late nights in the middle of June He always been faking me out Can't make you happier now Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what other crazy ideas you want to see us do down in the comments below. And check out the link down there to grab yourself a pair of these Liberty 3 Pro Buds. And I will see you guys next time. Peace!